The bitter cold is here to stay on this Friday. It will continue to feel life threatening 30 to even 40 below. And we do have that nasty northwest wind really picking up this afternoon and again tonight with some 40 to even 50 mile per hour wind gusts. And that will lead to some icy spots on the roads and at times some reduced visibility. Now that blizzard warning has been updated for areas around Highway 30, Highway 20 and along the Iowa Minnesota border that still remains in effect until Saturday morning at 6 a.m. West so do have a winter storm warning surrounding it and for parts of southern Iowa a winter weather advisory to just say hey the blowing snow and the bitter cold will continue to cause problems on the roadways. We have lots of blizzard warnings in effect to the north and to the west. Lots of winter storm warnings in effect off to the east. So if you are traveling this is all a look at wind chill advisories all across the central portions of the United States. This cold air is definitely kicking in. Now at four o'clock this afternoon, it does look like blowing snow and the bitter cold and the strong winds will continue to be the biggest issue. Tomorrow, we do have less wind and a little more sunshine on the way. It is still going to be really cold and the winds will still be close to 20 to 30 miles per hour, just not quite as strong as what we're dealing with today and tonight. Now we do have a band of snow coming through on Christmas Day. Most of it will arrive around 5, 6 p.m. right along I-35 I and I-80. So if you do have travel plans late in the day on Christmas, you will encounter a little light snow, a little more filtering into the state by early on Monday. But I do want to stress our snowfall totals will stay around one to two inches. There may be some isolated three or four inch amounts along that northern border. That will exit by the end of the day on Monday, and then we'll start to see improving weather conditions Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But first, we have to get through this, and we do have wind chills staying right around 20 to 30 below pretty much the rest of today and early tomorrow. So if you're getting up Saturday morning and thinking, oh, it's finally going to be nice out, it really isn't. But because we do have less wind on the way by the end of the day, it's not going to feel quite as cold as it has been feeling. And we do have some positive numbers to enjoy by the end of the day on Sunday. And I think that's when the actual air temperature and the wind chill will both be positive for a change. Now the winds continue to look really strong throughout the afternoon and this is going to cause problems on the roadways. The winds finally start to die down by the end of the day tomorrow and again they don't look quite as strong on Saturday. We finally do have a wind break on Sunday. Today one below again blowing snow, bitter cold, the biggest issue and then tonight temperatures will fall to seven below. It will stay cold and windy tonight. Tomorrow doesn't look a ton better. It is definitely not quite as windy or as cold with a high of 8. And then on Christmas Day, a high of 16. That snow hits the state late Sunday into early on Monday. It does look dry and warmer on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, we'll get above the freezing point. On Thursday, we'll be back in the 40s with a chance of rain.